guys, how's it going? It is Jared HD here. Welcome to episode number 16 of the Fulham Road to Glory career mode series. We kick off today's episode doing a little bit of training. You would have noticed that Ian Nacho and our youth prodigy superstar, Wilkinson did do very, very well. We pick up 180,000 pounds as well for progressing in the FA Cup. We're going on quite a nice little run. We are in the quarterfinals, and that quarterfinals tie will be on later in the episode. But if you do go on to enjoy today's episode, make sure that you leave a like on the video. Views and likes seem to be a lot uh, lower than overall, like for every FIFA YouTuber. So... Not quite sure why that is. Maybe you guys aren't enjoying the game. Personally, I am loving this game. I think it is a lot better gameplay-wise than FIFA 15 and FIFA 14. We're not even going to talk about that. That game was horrible. But we're playing Cardiff in the championship here. Scott Dan gives away an early penalty there against the Dutch midfielder of Elena. And Cardiff now have the opportunity to go ahead early. Sardi stutters. Lonigan falls to his left. Unfortunately, Sardi keeps it down the middle. And Cardiff City have the one... Nil advantage four minutes into this game. A very early start there for them. But Ross McCormack to Ashley Richards. Richards to Kearney. Kearney spins. What a fantastic skill move that was. But he is denied a good save there from the Cardiff keeper. Not quite sure if it is still David Marshall or not. But Ross McCormack passing this one to his old mate Carney. Kearney to McCormack. McCormack playing it through to Ian Nacho. He cuts around, takes the strike. And the Nigerian striker, Kalichi. Ihanacho gives us the one all scoreline. This guy is absolutely fantastic. Can't believe we picked him up for only one million pounds. I'm confident if we keep training him, we can get him up to like a 90 overall that we can sell him on for a massive profit in the future seasons to come. But anyways, as we move into the second half, Ross McCormack to Ihanacho. Ihanacho cutting around, taking the strike in the back of the net. Kalichi Ihanacho picking up a brace. He gives us the lead, and what a fantastic game this superstar striker is having. We have the lead at home in the championship, Craven Cottage, but it is Amiobi running up the line here. Not quite sure if it's Sammy or Shola Amiobi, but it gets whipped in to Pena and Gulen, whoever the hell that is, almost gives Cardiff an equalizer. But then with one minute remaining, almost in stoppage time, McCormack sees a good run there from Kearney. Kearney's cutting around the defender, playing it through to Ross McCormack. Can McCormack seal it? No, he cannot. The Carter City keeper, which is not David Marshall, keeps it out of the goals. But we do go on and we do defeat Cardiff City. Two goals to one in the championship. A lovely game there from Ianacho, and we played fantastically all round. Of course, we are going to be doing training once again. And as you can see here, a very, very good training session. A's and B's all around. Probably the best ever training session I have had. Wilkinson and Byrne both growing in their respective overalls. And... That was a fantastic training session. Anyways, as I did mention earlier in the episode, we have the FA Cup quarterfinals here. And looking at that draw, we have one of the easiest draws out of them all. We could have had Liverpool, Man United, Man City, Arsenal, all teams like that. We, we Wolves would have been a bit better, but... We did get Hull City, which is definitely a lot easier than those other lineups. Still going to be very, very hard. The recently relegated side, we are taking them on. But I'm just going to treat this game like a normal championship match. Hopefully, we can come away with the three points, or the metaphorical three points. The entry into the semi-finals. Abel Hernandez almost giving Hull City the lead there. Wouldn't have been a great start to the game at all. But then only in the 32nd minute. Jake Livermore to Abel Hernandez. Hernandez to Diamande. Diamande looking for some support. Finds Livermore. A poor clearance there from Tim Reen. Diamande keeps getting involved. Takes the strike. Somehow gets it past Benanelli. And this guy, Diamande, gives Hull City the shock. 1-0 lead away from home at Craven Cottage. Not very good there at all. But we are looking for an equaliser. A very, very, very boring game. Ross McCormack in the 82nd minute. Playing it through to Kachadiklic. Can the Swede tie it up? Yes, he can. We are heading to an FA Cup quarterfinals replay. As we do draw one all here with Hull City. 
a very boring game. I do apologize for the three highlights. I'm going to add an extra game on this episode just to make up for it. But as we do training again, can we do as well as we did earlier? We get C's and D's all around the board. So that is a drastic, uh, lower, drastic, lower standard than what we are used to. But... Moussa Dembele did grow up to a 70 rated striker, which is fantastic. Look at that though. Our FA Cup replay. One day after our next game against Blackburn Rovers. I swear to God, EA just... The little, little things make the difference in a game, in my opinion. And they just didn't really look at the little things in career mode. Like, that's not realistic. I don't think any professional sides in the world would have a game the day after another game. Like, that's just piss poor from EA Sports. But anyways, nothing we can do about it. We're going to have to suck it up. We're going to have to go down to our local hardware, hardware store, buy some timber, build a bridge, and get over it. Because we had this game now in the championship, away from home. We are taking on the formerly great Blackburn Rovers. They are having a shocking season in this career mode, sitting in 20th position, but they do kick things off here. Brown smashing that one off the crossbar. Not much Andy Lonergan could have done about that. I was trying to close down the angle, but unfortunately, Blackburn do take the 1-0 advantage here. O'Hara making a crucial interception in the midfield. We now hit them on the counter-attack. Taggart sees Musa Dembele. Dembele Almost stuffs it up, but he doesn't. Musa Dembele finds the back of the net, and he gives us a one-all scoreline in the 27th minute. But just before halftime, it is Blackburn on the attack again. Marshall to Brown. Brown turns the defender up against Burgess, hits it, and misses it, thankfully. Would have not been good to head into the halftime break. Trailing, however, Williams to O'Hara here. O'Hara looking for some support. Passes it to Larnell Cole. Cole to Musa Dembele. Dembele got a bit of space. Passes it to Christensen. Christensen cuts past Conway. He squares it back. Musa Dembele chests it and just stabs at that one. Really just stabs at it like a dagger. Wouldn't have been... Uh, it would have been a great goal if he would have scored it, but not a very good finish there from Musa Dembele. Delfonso to Evans. Evans to Delfonso. He misses it to the right-hand side. And we are hanging in there, lads. We're looking for a go-ahead goal late in this one. Stoppage time. Great ball from Adam Taggart to Matia, but the Finnish midfielder stuffs that one up. Could have scored a fantastic goal, which would have given us the three points, but... We do pick up only one point here. A one-all draw away from home against the Blackburn Rovers. Not the greatest of results, but... Oh, well, I guess. One point is better than none, as I always do say. However, the final matchup of today's episode, of course, is the FA Cup quarterfinal replay against Hull City. As you can see, Liverpool and Swansea are both through to the semi-finals. Hopefully, we do get Swansea. That would be quite nice. But, um, freaking Liverpool... Sorry, no, not Liverpool. Manchester City losing to Swansea, so they wouldn't be happy with that, Pellegrini sellers. Anyways, this is the lineup that we are rocking with. A bit of a rotational side, but it is still very dangerous, and I'm still very confident that we can get the job done. Ben Pringle trying to run in here, looking for some support. Goes up himself, squares it to Ian Nacho. He gives us the early lead here. Three minutes into the game, Kalichi Iannaccio continues the amazing run of form that he has been on. He gives us the 1-0 advantage. Iannaccio on the ball once again, passing this one to Smith. Smith getting pushed off it. It goes to Clark, but a tackle there from Gar, but it goes to Smith. It is absolutely crazy in the box. Iannaccio, Smith, good save from Jakubovic. We are very unlucky not to be 2-0 ahead here, but Hull City on the attack. Klukas on the ball, smashing that one off the crossbar. Abel Hernandez follows it up, bringing it down with a quite a nice touch. He crosses it and it gets punched away from Benanelli. It goes to Lenny Hand. He lines it up. He smashes it. And unfortunately, we concede a fantastic goal. Finding the back of the net is this Hull City man. That was a fantastic strike. I was not expecting that, but, you know, it is FIFA 16, so every single long shot goes in. Ian Nacho running in here, taking the strike, and Hull City's lead did not last for long. Ten minutes before halftime, Ian Nacho gives us the 2-1 advantage. This guy is something special. He is my career mode wonder child. And, guys... Not going to lie, I stuffed up. Better Nelly straight out to Abel Hernandez, who floats that one into the back of the net. Lots of con concentration on my behalf. I was too busy watching some Netflix in the background and just decided, yeah, let's just press A. But it does not matter. 
Smith, the former lead striker, does give us the lead once again. It has been a crazy game. Very entertaining compared to the first game we played against them. And we are heading to the FA Cup semi-finals. What a fantastic cup run we have been on. Granted, we have a, we have had quite an easy run. Hasn't been easy, but it hasn't been... We haven't had to knock out any teams like Man United or stuff like that. But anyways, fellas... Wrapping up today's episode, we are 10 points clear at the top of the championship table. Let's hope we can secure our automatic promotion and our championship title very, very soon. If you did enjoy today's episode of the Fulham Career Mode series, make sure that you leave a like on the video. Make sure that you do subscribe if you are new around here. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. The links, as per usual, will be in the description down below. But most importantly, fellas, I hope you have a fantastic day. It has been Jared HD here. Bye, Mouth. Peace.